Hello everyone, welcome again and today in this video we will see the demo of online bakery shop project. So before demo, let's talk about some technical details for the project. So it's using MBC architecture. So you can see here uh, the controller from the server server side is there. It's uh, using uh, all the standard uh, like industry standards. So it's using uh, complete package definitions are there. So bins are there, controllers are there, exceptions model and some util methods are there. So controller and model is a part of uh, like a component of uh, MBC architecture. Uh, to manage or uh, to view section it's using uh, JSP and obviously under the JSP page is uh, using HTML and CSS some common thing for the front end side and J2E application deploy over the Tomcat uh, Apache Tomcat 8.5 and the data is stored into the MySQL database and the database is uh, like currently we are using 5.6 version but it can be done over the 8 or any version of MySQL so here we have a database for the bakery shop under this database we have multiple tables <coughs> user tables are there role product invoice uh, contact and category and card is there so when i view the data of the user table i will found two types of users are there the first one is the admin the second one is a customer or the second user of the application we are going to interact with the application now let's run the application deploy the application over the tomcat and then it at my local machine and then check the functionality and features and different models of the application. So to run the application, just right click on the folder, root folder of the application, go to run as, run on server, select the configured server, click on finish, that's it. So project is display here now and it's online bakery shop. Here we have one option. So these are the two product currently that it added by the admin and it's displaying here. At the home page, we have an option to differentiate or uh, filter data according to the category. So if I select the category this, it will display one product. If you click new stuff, it will display this. Also under the product section, I can check all the products. We have a contactors form here and the user registration and the user login. So we'll see all the functionality one by one. Let's suppose you are a new customer who want to register into the application. You can fill up this complete form and you can register over there. So for testing purpose, I'm just showing you, I just enter the data. The data should be valid. So let's say it's asking for the login ID. So I'm going to use the ASDF at the gmail.com and the password name. Again, the email, it can be same or it can be different. And playing at this, click on sign up. The data is registered successfully. Now this user will display into this database. And you can see this is the recent added data. Now let's log in into the uh, login section and welcome to the dashboard for the admin. Then we'll see for the customer. So as an admin, what operation I can perform, or you can say as a shop owner, what I can perform here. So I just enter the username, enter the password, hit the sign in button, and I can see the welcome home page over there. I can add a new admin, if new admin is there, I can add a new admin into the system or you can see another shop owner or some person that's going to uh, manage the portal. Our other option, I have a category, so I can add a new category in this, so let's suppose I want to add a category here for uh, the new cags, new cags and I choose the image, let's suppose I choose this image and click on save i added some description click on save the data is category is saved successfully when i go to the category section i have a new category here uh, like new category new gex i can edit this record i can delete this record two more functionalities are there but make sure when you're going to edit the record um, let's suppose you're going to change the name you have to select the image again that is the mandatory field so i'm going to select the image again click on save now it's display in some time because it's upload it will upload over the database and it will display there it will take some time and or if you want to do it fast you can refresh the server by right click on this project and click on the refresh section so it will display uh, immediately okay that's done now after the categories we have another section which is called product under the product again we have all the categories i can add a new product in some category let's suppose i have added a new category new stuff in this category i want to add a new bakery product so i just write a product name 
the product price i choose the image let's suppose i want to uh, give this image as a product image and click so enter some description click the save button i can see then recently added product is there again the image will load in some time if you want to do it immediately go there right click on here image refresh now the display there that's there okay so that's it and the product section we have a cell history as i admin i can check the cell history so whatever the cell uh, done in the previous uh, days it will display here for the admin in contact us page my profile these are the common detail and hit the logout when i hit the logout automatically it will redirect me over the login page and now i'm gonna log in as a customer that we just registered also uh, without register also you can go and uh, buy the product so just check both test case the first one i didn't register yet and i'm exploring the product over the site so i'll go to in this category uh, like in this category and i'm gonna go add uh, card like i'm gonna go to add card when i hit the add card button it will ask me to sign up there so our login there so i'm not an existing customer so i go to the sign up and then again I can uh, fill up this form and I, I can go there. Other option I have, I can sign in and directly I can buy this. So this user is there that is we just registered. I'm going to log in with this user and let's see what the operation can perform over there. You can see it will redirect there and when I hit the add card button, it will the product will come into their card and you can check the multiple quantities here so when i check the quantities it will automatically it will uh, update it and click on the checkout option and here this is a complete bill and when i click the submit it will ask me to enter the card details so i will enter the payment details and i think this is some this is just for the dummy purpose it doesn't make any sense so i'm gonna the payment is successfully the zips is there so under the product section and under the history section the data will be displayed over there now if i logged out this and i'm just going to again log in as an admin user so admin can check that request that just be ordered that's the important thing so i'm going to sign up in here sign in here categories cell history okay there is there we have a one record and so admin can check the received orders and check can check the history and the cell history page so if you need this project you can connect with the code one team and uh, you can mail us you can ping over the whatsapp the data will be displayed uh, the, like the, like uh, it will work same as shows in this demo and the data will display same as display here in this screen and thank you